Hello, we're here today with Morris Baker uh, here at Goodwill. And Morris, thank you for talking with us today. Thank you, Michelle. Appreciate y'all coming. Um, Morris, tell us a little bit about uh, Goodwill and um, how many uh, staff members that you have here sure. at Goodwill. So we, before coronavirus happened, Michelle, we had about 280 that received a paycheck every two weeks. And since um, we've opened back up, Thankfully, we've opened back up. We have about 220 employees. Wow, that's awesome. And, and more during this time with the virus, how has it affected uh, the process as far as uh, the Goodwill donations? Have you seen an increase or a decrease? You know, Michelle, we saw a uh, through the end of August, I believe we'd experienced a 4% decrease in numbers of donations that we received. But we probably were estimating about 25% in volume. That folks have, have uh, given us. I think folks being home, um, uh, social distancing has prompted folks to clean their closets out, and uh, so we've been. It's very thankful that folks have, have remembered Goodwill and uh, other thrift uh, stores in the area, Salvation Army and Habitat, and I know that all donations nationwide are up. Actually, they're up worldwide. So we're um, we're down just a little bit in total donors, but we're up in volume of donations that we have. Wow. That's great. Now, Morris, how many stores uh, do you all have? How many locations of Goodwill? We have nine uh, Goodwill stores presently, uh, Michelle, and we have uh, five attended donation centers that people can drop off other than just our stores. Oh, that's, that's great. Um, now, I will ask you, whenever someone actually um, drops a donation off, um, is it taken in at all of the stores, or is there certain locations that you take donations? Sure. So all nine of our stores take donations in, and uh, we now have it set up that when a donation comes to a store, it stays at that store. So if somebody donates, if somebody donates in Chilhowie, it stays at the Chilhowie store, uh, and then we have the attended donation centers that we uh, that we staff as well. Um, we have stores that will take those straight to. So. Um, yeah, when somebody donates to us, if we, we, we hope we're 24 hours from the door, the donation door, to the floor so it can be sold. Wow, that's great. Now, if someone wanted to um, actually be hired at Goodwill, what is that process? Who do they contact? Okay, so there's different ways that, that uh, individuals can apply with Goodwill. First, they can go to our website and fill an application out, uh, and then our human resource department, we call it a human capital department, they'll screen the applications, and um, uh, then they'll go that route. They can, uh, folks can also go into our stores at any of our locations, um, any of our store locations or here at our home office, and they can pick up an application and fill that out, and uh, then HR will process it then. Mm -hmm. Well, is there ever a time that there is a donation that you don't keep? Uh, or what do you do with those? So, so the donations that we take, um, we keep them on the on the floor for a certain amount of weeks. And uh, if it doesn't sell, then we'll take and we'll salvage the donation. So we've got salvage vendors that buy our textiles uh, that doesn't sell in the store, metal vendors. Um, uh, we have folks that buy the, the electrical cord that's on appliances. Um, so, but we hope... What we hope is when that donation comes in, it's going to go to the floor and it's going to sell. Yes, definitely. Well, um, I know that you're going to show us the full process uh, from donation to the floor and how it all works out. And uh, um, I just think it's it's a wonderful process. I know that you mentioned the values that you have here at Goodwill. And can you mention some of those values? Sure. So, you know, Michelle, when I came to Goodwill, uh, I guess the biggest criticism I've heard in the community is folks say, well, Goodwill's not a, a non-profit, and we are a non-profit. And they talk about how that we're a business uh, that doesn't give back to the community. You know, we hire, uh, probably about 80% of our workforce have what we call some need. Uh, either they didn't have a job, they have a, a, a record, uh, they may have been a, a mother that was in a domestic violence situation that had to go to a, I can think specifically about a situation like that where that the mom went to a shelter and she had nothing and she had to have a job so we, we hired that individual. But whatever sells in our store we use that, we talk if there's no margin there's no mission. Right. So we have to operate as a business to get profit to be able to punt back into our mission side. Um, yeah, so that, that that's, what, that's what our focus is. We, we, 
when, and when we do onboarding with our employees, I do a, a session called the History, Mission, Vision, and Value section. I call it Goodwill 101. And I very clearly tell our, our new employees that we're a business that operates with a social conscience that just happens to have a 501c3 tax exempt status as a tool. But we're mission driven. Uh, our mission is that we provide employment services to those in need. And, um, you know, values, it, it, to me, it's important to structure a, an environment that folks want to come to work. Everybody has issues that they have outside of work that uh, they, I, have, I hear people say, you got to leave that at the door. I don't know anybody that can do that. So we try to structure an environment where that um, uh, a few of our values, we believe that our, our most valuable assets are the people that we employ. Mm -hmm. We believe that employment leads to dignity. It's important to get up in the morning time and go be a part of something bigger than you. Um, we have a value that says all team members will be 100% successful 100% of the time with 100% support. You'll see that when we go to a store. Um, we believe in transparent communication. That's a value that we constantly work on. If I hear an employee say, well, this employee is just not doing the job, have you told them that? Mm -hmm. And maybe that employee, there's some reason why that they can't. Um, we believe alignment among team members is critical for excellence. It's amazing how, you know, every job we have, Michelle, we, we think adds value to our organization. It, whether it's taking a donation in, whether it's sorting a donation, whether it's hanging clothes, uh, whether it's at the cash register, whether it's in our facilities department. But everybody is good at something. And so our job at Goodwill is to say, where can we position people for them to be the best benefit to the organization and to the community? So. Well, um, it's, it's a wonderful place uh, goodwill and uh, you know to hear the values and uh, how you are helping folks in the community um, regardless of their background or whatever uh, you know to help them to get work and like you said it's important for people to have that and uh, to feel that they are valued so that's uh, great that that's what you all um, do here at goodwill and um, I, I can't wait to see the process of the donation sure. because I can tell you that we did a um, remodel at Leadview since we've been closed. And during that process, we hauled a lot of things to give people. So we, we knew they were going to good uh, good calls. Sure. And uh, so we're anxious to see how the process is uh, from start to finish. And we certainly appreciate you talking with us and uh, telling us all about um, goodwill. Thank, thank you, you for all that you did. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Oh, no. So, whenever we get a donation, uh, of course, we greet them and then we put it in the carts, the yellow carts we have inside. We spray it off and then we let it dry for a few minutes. We take it back inside and then from there we do the processing. And that's what that means we have a loose bin for clothing. We have the stuff that we can price and put out on the floor, we go ahead and put prices on it, put it out on the floor, and then we have a recyclable bin, such as shoes we can't sell, metal, cardboard, books, toys that we can't sell. Everything that we can recycle, we recycle. It's awesome. Yes. So tell them about the no, the no contact donations. So we currently are not, our staff are not interacting with the donut donors. Yes, so we would like most of them to sit it here on the dock is how they do it here. And then we get it from there and then we put it in the carts. And then we have some that actually just bring it up and put it into the carts themselves. Let's put them in a bin. You want to tax receipt, your emails. Okay. So then Crystal will take you inside and show you how we process. Okay. And then we just go ahead and price it and it will print it out. 
and then we just stick it on there. And then our little shopping carts here, mm -hmm. we fill that full, and then we take it out on the sales floor. Some. Maybe. So how many of these Gaylords do y'all go through in a, in a day's time period? Um, depending on how many donations we got, yesterday we went through, I think, about eight. Because the donations wasn't, we wasn't slammed with donations yesterday. So we get about 45 donors a day here at this store. And so uh, they process and they kind of end up, like, it's like they said, we put the POS in, it's like the last year, wasn't it? Last year. And uh, so it kind of helps to standardize pricing just a little bit. But um, take them to show them, let Jake show how the DJ through and does the textiles and all okay. that. Okay. All right, I will. And if you guys want to follow me, okay. 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 This is Jake. Jake, will you walk these ladies through and show them how you do it over here? So yes. you Everything yes. on the rack and then tagging it as yeah, well. Sure. What here I'm doing is I'm looking for loose stains, anything that has holes in it, and whatnot, make sure it's all clean. And if it's not clean, you put it over here and sell it over here. And then once it gets full, it's kind of cool. Yeah. Take it over here. 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 Awesome. And then once it's done, I put it right here. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes I do it, or one of the one of the ladies up there, they would take it out there and put it on the floor. And then they put it in the correct price point in the correct category, like men's women's or women's. Awesome. Thank you, Jake. That was okay. great. Thank you. Good deal. All right. <laughs>
store fully at that point, they would come back to us and we would recycle them. But we've added this new step, the blue box step, and we'll go through all of those items and pull the really good pieces that are still named brands. Some are even new with tags and stuff like that. And we are partnering with the Goodwill in Florida. And it has been doing this for a couple of years. And we build mystery boxes based on size and gender and things like that. We do adult baby boxes, kids' boxes, and Another step for us to help divert um, items from the landfill, and it's just—it's oh, really neat. It's uh, something we've never done before. So. How many boxes like did you get last month? Did we sell? Last month, I think we did. Two seventy-two. You said. Yeah, two seventy-two this past month. Yeah, we actually just calculated it last week. We diverted just with this program twenty-two pounds from the landfill in eight weeks. That's great. Wonderful so Jake, program. We saw come in. Jake works for Chasing. Uh, they're going to uh, next. They're going to tomorrow. tomorrow yeah. and they're going to learn wow. about the program and come back and improve. So this is a this is a new thing that we're doing. That's great. Good deal. Great program. I'm going to let Keith explain. They're they're just just in the about this. Okay. Uh, we've been to a store and they saw the donations come in okay. uh, about how they get it on the floor to sell. And uh, I'm going to let you walk them through when it comes back. What we do actually get it out the south. You're good with that. That sounds good. All right. <laughs> okay, yeah. As far as the um, Keith, how long you been with us? It was a, a year now. A year. It was a, a year in uh, August the 23rd. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. So as uh, recycle shoes or recycle toys come back, I usually what I do is like, sort it out, try to fill it up, as well as the um, the recycle pulp, recycle, recycle textiles. Mm -hmm. We build them, we build them. You know, once they're uh, it's a full bail, we all load them in a trailer. Then once we get a full trailer, we uh, sell them. And uh, as well as the cardboard, we uh, build cardboard. We uh, recycle cardboard, we sell those as well. Um, you know, shoes, purses, purses and belts that we uh, recycle. Um, Toys, books as well. Some recycle books. But I can take you out here and show you the trailer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. 